Hi folks, it is Monday the 8th, yeah, the 8th of April, it's about 10 to 3 in the afternoon, I've just got home from work, had to have another trip into Derby didn't I, sorry I've got light on one side of my face, if I sit anywhere near the window you, I glow, you can't see me, so I've had to move over here a bit, excuse me, what is that, oh, that's the playing cards that they've left out on the floor, and that's my mess in the corner, yeah, I had to go back to Derby, because the Rick and Morty mug I bought yesterday, the big mug, I got it out, made a cup of tea in it, big crack, right down there. So it was like as soon as it got like tea on it, it was a, a noticeable crack. I was like, is that hair? Oh no. So I took it back, they exchanged it, they were great with me. So that's that done, but it meant another trip into Derby. £3.10 to park, I was there for about 10 minutes. Uh, and I went in a different car park because I'd never been in there that way before. I was like, oh heck, how'd you get in here? <laughs> so I'm a little bit rushed doing this part of the video, but I wanted to get it done because I got a box this morning. Um, and it's from Carol. Hi, Carol. Uh, Carol is my friend who lives in Scotland and she's on Instagram as Kazzy No No. Don't think she'll ever do a video, no matter how much I pester her. Would you do a video, Carol? Bet she's saying no. <laughs> Well, Carol sent me some uh, sent me a picture last week when I was talking about fleece. Last week, I don't know when I was talking about fleece, and she said she got some fleece. Was this any good? And I was like, Wow! If you don't mind, yes, please. And then she says, I'll have a look for you when I go to the fabric shop next. So like, the very next day, she sent me pictures of fleece, and I was like, Oh my word! So she's picked some up for me, uh, and she sent it because she's awesome. And she sent some extra goodies, so I thought I'd show you. So this is the fleece Carol had um, in her stash. And there's lots of it by the looks of it. It's ever so thick as well. So there's that, super cute birdies, birdie birdies. So that's that, thank you Carol. And then this stuff, I still need to sort out something with you for it. Um, she picked me this one up from the fabric shop. Isn't it cute? Um, I think she said they did from like um, 10 centimeter, 10 centimeters in height to like, you know, meters. So I said, well, 30 centimeters should be plenty because it's, it's very wide, it's double the width of that. So there's, there's plenty to go out there. I thought that'd be cute for, cause I've got, I haven't got stuff that would go with all the colors of the blanket yarn I've got. So that's great. Thank you, Carol. And then a couple of tartans because I think they always look cute and you haven't got to get like a whole motif in. So she got me a blue and green. And then she got, well, these look like my pyjama bottoms. <laughs> she got me a red uh, tartan too. So thank you, Carol, that's great. I can, um, I should be covered for most eventualities now. Um, oh, fluff on me, sorry. Um, fleece wise, you know, with the, the yarn colour I use. So thank you for that, I really appreciate it. And then she sent me some more got key rings and <laughs> so you got them off him there a uh, little grandson had sort of claimed them as his own uh, the other week she was like I've got to get them off him to put them in your box so I've got uh, another stitch marker and it's the tartan sheep Scottish tartan sheep well it says tartan sheep and it there isn't he cute with this little Scottish flag I like him he's so cute and then oh look at this one uh, this is a soul tire sheep not the right way around. I think that should they should be in the different things because that's a sole tire, isn't it? That's the Scottish flag and that's tartan. So. Oh, look at the little cute sheepers. Super cute. Um, and then she sent me a Scotland kiwi. Oh, look at those dudes. Oh, no, aren't they cute? <laughs> oh, I love them. And then there is a Isle of Scotland, and it's got a thistle on it and something in between. What is that? I can't see. Yeah, there's a thistle and a heart with the like the soul type, the, the cross on it. Oh, it's a little dog. Look, can you see him? That. I don't know if I can get him separated. You can see him there. Ah. Uh, don't know. Can you see? Little jewel dog. Oh. And then a. Scotland keyring, it says, with love, Faye Scotland. Faye, is that, what, it's probably not how you say it at all. And it's got a thistle on it. 
Ooh, I love key rings. You know, do you know I love key rings, Carol? And then, I assume these are for the boys, unfortunately, but I'll make them share. A bag, two bags of crunchy caramel M&M's. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And like I say, we'll sort something out because I think some fleecy, blankety animals are going to be uh, on their way to Scotland soon. So let me know and we'll sort something out and I'll get them out to you. Or I'll get making them first and then I'll send them to you. But thank you for that. That's really lovely. Don't know what to do next. So I'm going to have to go and fetch the boys and... Um, then what we've got to do. I suppose I should really exercise. I didn't even go, our gym is closed from today until the 26th of April, which is rubbish. Um, which means the entire week the kids are in holiday club and I don't have to pick them up early and I could go to the gym for longer. The gym's not there. They said they're opening up a smaller version, a smaller portion of the leisure centre as a, as a little gym with like a bit of equipment but I don't know what that is so I have to have a wander and find out so I should really do some aerobics or something but I don't really want to and I can't go tomorrow because I'm going to the dentist tomorrow to ha hopefully have this um I don't know what he's going to do with it but have my tooth looked at anyway I mean I'm just grateful it's not painful so so far. <laughs> it's been alright. When did I do this? Thursday? Right, it's been fine. It's not hurt at all. So fingers crossed. I don't know what it'll do because it's a dark, like a silver filling. So I don't know if there's anything it can do. It's not like you can just, you know, make it so it's not sharp and leave it because it's like silver or dark grey. I don't know. Anyway. So um, I may film a little bit more when I get back. I have started a foot of the, is it Grace and Yarn? Uh, bunny crochet along that Kim of Kim, Kim Crafty's Corner. I was gonna say Kim's Crafty Corner, it's not, it's Kim Crafty's Corner. Hi Kim. Um, Kim was on about doing the crochet along for it. And I said, oh, I'll do that. And I also said I'd make Lucy's dog. So I need to actually get on and do some crochet, don't I? So I don't have any crochet to show you, really. But I might come back and chat you some more. Or I might show you if I get further down the leg. I don't know. I can't imagine I'm going to exercise because I just really don't want to. Tomorrow after school I'll do it. Just not today. Because I've not stopped and I've got to message Paul's mum about something. So... I want to go fetch your boys. So, thank you again, Carol. It's, it's all kind. Thank you. Um, and like, like I said, let me know what what you like, and we'll sort it out. And I'll, I'll get going on it. So I'm going to go and un unbox this again and make sure it's not got any cracks in it. If it's got cracks in it, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't want to go back again. Anyway, um, yeah. So I'll be back in just a minute, and then I'll finish off the video. Bye, guys. Hey folks, so I'm just popping on quickly to end the video. I uh, haven't really got anything to show you. Well, I've got a start of a foot, the leg, to show you. So this is the Grace and Yarns uh, Girl Bunny Crochet Along that I'm doing. So I will see how far I can get with this tonight. Um, yeah, we'll see where we go from there. Um, let me show you this. I was this is the Cyclops I was working on the other day. Kim, hi Kim, sent me the details of it. And I started working on it. To be honest, I don't really like it. Um, I'll figure something out to do with this because I've, I've already sunk a safety eye into it. So I'll figure something out. But I'm not feeling the love um, as much as I thought I would. I don't know. And so uh, if... It, it fell off. But if my lack of crojo over the last month or so has taught me anything, I'm not going to do stuff I don't really feel like doing, or that isn't pleasing me because that would just make me not want to crochet. So, I'm crocheting this because it's cute. If you can hear anything, Jack is on Garage Band in the dining room and he's making all sorts of racket. I've got to kick him off the Mac at some point to get on and do this video. That could go down well. Uh, but yes, so I'm having a cup of. 
empty in my massive mug, um, which hasn't got a crack in it anymore, thankfully. So um, I'm going to get on with doing this and wait for Paul to come home. Then I've got to figure out what I'm going to cook for tea. Tim has nipped out to see his friends. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go and get on with the evening stuff we need to do and get the kids to bed and stuff like that. So I will be back tomorrow with a progress report and yeah, we'll see what tomorrow brings, see what the dentist does and how much it ends up costing. Well, I imagine it's going to cost about 60 quid, so the joy, hey. And I shall let you know if I think of anything to spend my Amazon vouchers on. Don't know what to buy, don't know what to buy. Paul says I can buy whatever I like as long as it's not wool. <laughs> He's so funny. So funny. Anyway, I hope you've had a good Monday. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think if there's something else I need to say. I don't think there is. So take care, everybody, and I will catch up with you tomorrow. Bye, guys.